This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to VTech, it's Basil here and I've got a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Now if you're thinking of picking one of these up and you're into your digital doodling, then you probably already know what the stylus on this thing can do. A single click on the end of it will open up OneNote. You can simply double click the end of the pen and you're gonna clip the display and then you can select a section in which to clip and it throws it all into OneNote, syncing to the cloud and you can doodle all over it or type away, it's up to you. Instead of a Wacom digitizer, you've now got an Entrig digitizer. This means a couple of things. Obviously, you've got those cool functions that we've already told you about on the pen, and that's possible because this is an active stylus, not a passive stylus, so it requires a battery. What you also have, however, interestingly, is 256 levels of pressure sensitivity with that pen, as opposed to 1024 on the Wacom digitizer. Is this gonna be much worse? More to the point, will it suffice for your basic drawing needs? Well, Microsoft certainly seems to think so. If you saw yesterday in our news feature, we covered the fact they got James Milner, the ballpoint artist, to do some very, very cool stuff with the Surface Pro 3. But now we're gonna take it out of the professional's hands and into ours, and we're gonna try out a couple of apps. The first is the free app, Fresh Paint. Now you can see we've already got doodling a few things on Fresh Paint. We can actually start a new canvas and we can see we've got a range of brushes. You've got crayons, you've got pencil, you've got brushes and oil brushes, and you've also got watercolor brushes. If we take it through to pencil, we can select a black, nib and then we can just create an outline so as you saw we did earlier we can very quickly just draw an eye Now you can keep using a free application like Fresh Paint. Of course, you can also use Photoshop. Photoshop's probably gonna be the ultimate if you want complete control over your image. But we actually prefer Sketchbook for sketching. It's a more user-friendly interface than Photoshop. It still supports the pressure sensitivity as you can see really nicely. Those 256 levels coming through right there. We can create a new canvas and we can actually draw a picture that we've got to our left hand side or at least draw the eye. Now I don't claim to be a great artist, but you can clearly see with Sketchbook, the layers that it allows for, we can turn some of these off so you can see just how much control those layers actually gave me while I was drawing that. It really does make the world of difference having a pen, specifically having a pressure sensitive digitizer. You can also see not having the 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity doesn't appear to hamper it too much. You can still get some decent enough sketches out of this thing. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you click that like button. If you like the channel, click subscribe. If you've got any questions about the Sketchbook Pro application from Autodesk or indeed the Surface Pro 3, ask us away in the comments section. Also stay tuned, we'll be bringing you loads of Surface Pro 3 stuff in the coming weeks. And of course, everything fresh, hot off the press from Aoife. Thanks for watching.